I have the label maker and the tablet to make the labels on in this box. To turn the tablet on, this is your on off switch up here. Um, press and hold for a few seconds. And again, the label maker on off switch is here. Press and hold for a few seconds until the display comes up on both of them. You might have to swipe the screen to unlock and then you'll see the Print Master app. So open that. This was what will come up and at the moment I, you will be using my login. Um, I haven't as yet found out whether you can log in as a separate user. I was told that it may have a maximum amount of users that can use the app on this tablet. But uh, we can um, have a look at that later. So I think it's easier if we just open a new label. And then we need to check a few things. One of the things we need to check is that it's a cut label and that's already there that the label width is 50 millimeters which is should come up and that the label height is 30 millimeters um, and that the label orientation which is already here is landscape not portrait um, and you don't want mirror mode on so the next step is to hit so the next step is to hit confirm this is what will come up so you double tap to edit or type in okay now when you're typing it will come up here so this is where you'll be looking at this spot here not necessarily there it'll come up there but down here is where you'll do all your editing can you see the cursor so the first thing I'll do is type in the title so this title is going to be the big red ball and you'll see that it's coming up here as I type it and also up in the preview now I'm going to get to the next line and now I will type the my name the artist's name now as you can see I've misspelt my name you see the cursors there so if I go backwards here to get rid of S O N you'll see the cursor's working there now if I wanted to get rid of ball I'd need to get the cursor up behind L here not up here so this is me putting the cursor up behind ball so now I'm going to get rid of ball and it's just going to be called the big red now I'm going to come back down to my name and now I'll retype it E-N S-E-N not O-N as you can understand it's going to be a lot easier to do this and not hold a phone to take a video at the same time so now the third line is going to be whether it's an original or an oil or acrylic remember these labels are quite small so we can't have too much information shorten it if you can now I'm going to type in the price and the code or the code and then the price so I'm going to tip I'm going to say it's Wendy Peterson now as you can see I've made a mistake so I need to go back and I need a capital P so oops I've done an A
and my code number will be 008. And then I'm going to put the price. I'm, I'm not going to worry about tabs. I'm just going to put some space between the code and the price. To get the dollar sign, I'm going to hit symbol. That'll bring up the dollar sign. And then the number of the amount of money, $560. Now I can say, yes, done, hit the, and what you can see is it's off, there's your white label, and there's your writing here, so you can actually put your finger on it, and move it to the right place on your label, and then I can just make it bigger like this, and the font size will change. Remember, you've got to try and keep it in this white space, or it won't print within there. So you can make it as big as you like, like that. Then just tap outside the box and your print option will come up. So now we're going to go print label. Oh, by the way, you do need to need to, to make sure that the label print is close to the tablet. This is a preview, so it's showing that it's all fitting on the label. And so I'm going to go print now. And this is it. So that's all you have to do. A second copy for the back of your piece. You could either print now again, or you could have changed it to two copies. I'm just going to do print now again to get a second copy for the back of my piece. Next, to get out of this, we return, hit the return key, the return sign, and then again. And we don't need to save, so don't save, and then return again, and double click it says to exit the app. So there you go. Of course, the last thing you're going to do is turn off the tablet and turn off power off power off and turn off the label maker and you'll see that the inside the box you should also have some cables and um, cable chargers so that's all in there with some manuals.